money I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money But I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time Hey guys, welcome no back right. I am back in New York City I am no longer in Texas And this is the first style video of the new year So naturally I wanted it to be something um, teachable, something inspiring, so I thought I would do a how to put together outfits in order to look stylish and maintain that certain like style edge to your outfit. A lot of you have been saying in the comments that my outfits just haven't been the same, they've been boring, blah blah blah, and I totally hear you, so I kind of dug back into my old videos to kind of see what you guys were talking about, and I think I'm hitting the nail on the head with this video kind of back to more daring outfits a little bit more out of the box a little out of comfort zones so that's kind of where we're at with this i will go ahead and get started and i've honestly got two different methods to how i get ready every single morning to how i'm picking out an outfit every single morning um, i'm going to be standing up because i'm going to be kind of all over the place for this talking portion the first scenario would be you wake up you're about to get dressed and there is one specific thing you know you want to wear today, which I like to call your hero piece. Your hero piece is something that is your statement piece, your standout piece, um, the piece that you're most excited about. For example, this could be a red boot. It could be a plaid blazer. And now you need to build your outfit around it. So we will start with that. For my first outfit, I grabbed this jacket. This is a statement jacket. This is something I knew I wanted to wake up and wear. So what do I need to do? I need to put my bottom two pieces first. So. I set this aside and just a quick little side tip I always keep this rolling rack up and I always put my favorite pieces at the moment every couple of weeks they rotate but I always keep a rack here of my newest items um, items that I'm loving and if you can just keep a section of your closet dedicated to your favorite items of the moment I promise um, it will make getting ready so much easier so I'm just gonna set this aside because I know I want to wear it these gray jeans because I feel like that's a really nice mix right here it's nothing too dark it's a little bit of a muted black color and this white top so these are my two basics that I'm gonna wear under my hero piece um, just very basic item so now that I've got that put together I will add my jacket on top of it kind of make sure that everything's right I sometimes end up changing like if I think the jeans look funny with the jacket change jeans but other than that we have our bones to our outfit so now what we want to do is add our shoe I always like to do shoes before accessories just because I feel like your shoes are a little bit more important than your accessories so for this outfit I'm not gonna do a plain black I always try to do a brown or a neutral shoe when I can I just think it makes your outfit more exciting so I'm grabbing this vintage Ralph Lauren boot I just think it goes nicely with the jacket this is a great opportunity to incorporate a brown shoe into my outfit so after that is accessories and this is belts hats jewelry any type of accessory you can think of I always try to leave the house with a belt or a hat or even like a statement like layering of necklaces of some sort so i went ahead and added this belt to my outfit i'm not looking for a statement belt i'm just looking for something that's just going to exist on my waist to kind of break up my bottom and my top and i'm going to add some jewelry um i normally just add my everyday rings and then my everyday necklaces especially with a jacket like this you don't want to over accessorize too much after that i'm just gonna grab a bag and i just wanted to do a simple black bag the reason i didn't go for a brown um you know my jacket has browns my shoe is brown if i added another shade of brown i feel like it would clash a little bit you don't want too many shades of brown um, especially if they're like warmer tones and cooler tones so just to be safe i added this little vintage gucci shoulder bag and i thought it separated the brown up top and the brown in my shoe really nicely so the next example is if you okay not that anyone wakes up just dying to wear pantyhose or tights um literally no woman does that ever i remember when i was little my mom used to force me to wear tights and i would just lay on the floor and just cry my eyes out because i hated them so much but sometimes uh tights some people call them pantyhose some people call them tights i think it depends on where you're from uh but either way you know what i'm talking about sometimes they're just a vibe they're just a mood for your outfit especially if you want to wear a skirt or shorts uh tights are i mean like you have to wear them <laughs> And sometimes I would rather wear shorts more than I don't want to wear tights, if that makes sense. It's just, it is. Woke up, grabbed my tights, put my tights on, 
unfortunately. So then I need to add my basics like we did to the last outfit. The last outfit, our hero piece was our jacket. Now we woke up and decided we wanted a more layered look that would involve tights, something short. Uh, so now I decided, do I want to do shorts or do I want to do a skirt? I decided to go with my faux leather shorts. So I grabbed these and then I just grabbed a basic sweater. I wanted something chunky on top because the shorts are very sleek and very matte so I wanted to do something textured. After that you want to do a shoe and I went ahead and went with an over the knee boot. When it's a colder day I do want to cover as much of my leg as possible so I grab these. If it was a day that was in like the 50s or something I would probably do my Doc Martens or just another sort of chunky ankle boot um, to give my legs a little bit more length but since it is so cold today gonna grab these. So now we're gonna accessorize. Um, so first I started with a headband. Even though my shorts already have a belt attached to them, I just wanted to add one more accessory just to kind of, I don't know, it just made me feel better to add a headband. Then I added a coat. I added this long black coat that I don't have with me. I always like to add my coat either with my bag or my bag right after. I always just kind of grab my bag at the very end because I like to complete my look first and then I will grab a bag, um, just kind of depending on what my outfit looks like. The second scenario that you would run into is if you wake up and you have no idea what you want to wear for that day. Um, no clue at all, there's no like special piece you want to wear, you are running late and you just don't know what to do. I like to grab my two basics first. For this particular outfit, I'm grabbing this top right here. Now you could choose to do a basic bottom, like a black skinny jean like I've got on now, or go with something a little bit more fashion forward, like a cargo pant, a trouser, um, even like a, a casual pair of joggers would even work. For this outfit, I grabbed these and just this basic top. So I've got the bones to my outfit, now what do I do? I wanna do some sort of third piece and this could be um, like a vest or a light jacket. It could even be a hat, even though like a hat is an accessory, if you're not taking it off, it still could be considered your third piece. So for this outfit, I went ahead and grabbed this cropped uh, full leather jacket because I just kind of thought it added to the edginess of the pant. Um, so this was just kind of the cherry on top of the bones to my outfit. So next I wanna add my shoe and I just did a super simple black sock booty just because there's so much going on with my pant. The pant kind of hits me like right at my ankle so I wanted something tight. If I were to do something loose, my pant would like fall really weird into them so I did something tight like this sock booty. To add an accessory, I added this black beanie. Um, like I said, you could do a hat, a beanie, a belt. Uh, any sort of like extra piece to add on is always good. And the final scenario is when you wake up and don't know what to wear and you decide you just want to do two basics because sometimes even the thought of grabbing like a cargo pant or something outside of the box, you're just like, I don't even want to deal with that. I hate all of my clothes. I just want to grab two super simple items. So you grab just a plain black ribbed shirt and a pair of high-waisted black skinny jeans. You honestly cannot get more basic than that. So now we need to dress it up. Uh, we need to make it look a little bit more stylish or go out like this. I don't really care. You'll still look amazing. <laughs> I'm just trying to teach you how to add on some pieces. So what I always do when I have two super simple basics on like this is I grab a blazer. It's my go-to. It is the easiest thing you could possibly do. You could go with solid, you could go with printed, whatever you want. I am grabbing this one from ASOS and it is an oversized kind of boyfriend fit blazer. Then I wanna grab a shoe and this really like when you're doing like this type of combo with the blazer, any shoe will work. Doc Martin, heeled sock booty, over the knee boot. This just really depends on where you're going. Are you going to work? Are you going to drinks with friends? Are you going on a date? Just cater it to wherever you're going. So I grabbed this boot um, just because I really like the idea of the faux leather over the super matte denim. After that, we want to accessorize. So, of course, I added a belt to the blazer because it almost just kind of looked crazy how oversized it was. I love an oversized blazer, but sometimes <laughs> I like drowning in the fabric. So I added a belt to cinch the waist and show that I have a shape of some sort. I even like rolled my sleeves up because I feel like that helps a little bit when you do have such an oversized piece on. And to add another accessory, I thought my outfit was looking super... Um, masculine with like the oversized blazer so i wanted to add something girly so i just added this little uh chiffon bow i did a low ponytail with the bow and i just thought it made it look a little bit more girly just kind of more of like a look i was going for and i also like to pull 
my hair back when I've got something super oversized. Uh, I think it's nice when your hair is back so you can kind of see like the details of your outfit and you're not swimming in fabric and hair, which is really like my life. Then you can add a coat or not add a coat depending on the weather. Um, again, I always add coat and bag last. So for this outfit, I thought the silhouette of this vintage Dior looked really nice. Um, it's very structured something on it it's like mm. but I do also think this is a little kind of like preppy and girly to kind of match the outfit flip off that was nice all right so that is my system on how to get dressed in the morning whether I have one piece I know I want to wear or I just have no freaking idea what I want to wear uh, but I just know it, it's got to look good <laughs> so those are my two systems that I use and that's literally step by step every single morning when I'm getting ready that is the system that I use and it works for me about 99% of the time. That 1% is just when I'm stubborn and I like hate everything in my closet and I just like don't even want to do it. I really hope these outfits were more of what you guys are used to seeing from me and I hope you love this video and got something out of it. And uh, I'd like to know in the comments below what kind of uh, video you want to see next. If you want an outdoor lookbook, more stuff inside like this, you just let me know and I will see you next time. Bye.